Hello YouTube, um, this is Ben Gessel again. Uh, so my second video, uh, I'm going to go a little bit different route with this video. Uh, in this video I'm going to be discussing um, uh, grocery stores, in fact. Um, at least uh, my experience with different grocery stores in the Northwest. So apologize I do apologize if you're in the Northeast or your South or other places in the United States or world um, a lot of these grocery stores you won't uh, won't be familiar with uh, but hopefully many of them you will be at least if you're in the United States um, so starting off here um, I'm gonna start with some of the um, nicer grocery stores and steadily get to some of the ones that are not quite as ritzy nice um, and what I'll be doing is just giving a, a kind of a review but also um, one of them I'm going to be talking a little bit more about uh, retail work from the perspective of myself of myself being a retail worker in one of these stores and I have a few thoughts I want to share with you about this. It's important. So the first one here, first store is Whole Foods. Now Whole Foods has been uh, a store that has been very much in press. Um, it's a great store. It's a really good store. I I really do like the store. It's it's got a lot of uh, it's generally like a lot of these stores. There's a lot of pros and cons to each one of them, and so um, I wish that it wasn't the case necessarily that you had to, but if you find yourself going to from one store to the other store to the other store to the other store, as if you go to three or four stores in one day to do. Uh, really all the shopping you need to do but that's really sometimes what you need to do in order to get the best deals the best quality for everything that you need to buy depending on how often you go to the store or all that stuff so I wish there was a store that had the best of everything uh, the lowest prices for everything the highest quality of everything it doesn't really I, I don't think there's a store quite like that um, but starting with Whole Foods of course, it goes without saying, their produce and their meat and their seafood. I'll check it in whatever. Well, the, the produce, meat, and their seafood and cheese, but I never buy cheese myself. But those areas are just, they have extraordinary quality. Um, their salmon is second to none. I have never had, you have to go to Pike Place Market in Seattle to find salmon that's as good of quality, great of quality as uh, in Whole Foods. And so that's, well, if you're big on really, on really high quality and you don't mind spending a little bit extra money, especially for meat and seafood, Whole Foods is, you could, you know, there's very few other places that can even compete with Whole Foods. Um, but they're expensive. It's an expensive store. Um, they also have shampoo that's, uh, doesn't have a sodium lauryl sulfate, all those chemicals, and so, that's nice. Um, it's actually a really good thing to get if, if you want to spend a little extra money on shampoo or a bunch of other stuff like that. Deodorant, shaving cream, <laughs> shaving cream. Um, so, but no, they have really high quality things. It's just a question of what you are willing to spend uh, and what's what's your what is what is your uh, what are your priorities? Okay, so so but this is an important grocery store. There are a lot of good or bad things I could say about this store further, but if I go to Whole Foods, I have really, um, I go there for a few specific reasons and a few specific reasons only. Increasingly, I think I might uh, just get a few things there that they just really have really high quality kinds of things that they carry and then they just, you know, do majority of my shopping in other places. But they have spices and herbs that you can't find anywhere else. At least you have to go to a, like an Indian or a 
Middle Eastern grocery store or you know, Mexican grocery store to find some of these herbs and spices. Um, so next door here is Trader Joe's. They've been an old standby for me in the past. They have very cheap uh, dried, dried herbs and spices. They have cheap nuts and seeds. They have cheap snack, snacks and their snacks. Are, hmm, uh, they can be very, rather inventive. Um, a little bit, a little different. Um, but you know, some of their stuff is just really, it's really good. But they have things that you can't really find in too many other places. Um, so that their, their items they sell are a little bit unique that way. And yes, I know they're owned by a German uh, grocery store. I believe it's Aldi's, I'm not going to be wrong. So they're, they're small stores. They don't have a lot of room. They're usually often populated by older folks. Uh, they're going kind of slow. So you have to be kind of a little patient and stuff like that sometimes. It can be a little frustrating, yes. But I think they're trying to make improvements in that area. Um, they don't have, I've never seen fresh fish at Trader Joe's. They just have frozen, frozen fish. Um, their produce is pretty mediocre. Occasionally you get some good quality, you get quality, good quality dates, uh, medjool dates there. But, and there's a few, there's some other things like that, that they, there's some other things like that that they uh, do a good job in. But it's really pretty mediocre, this produce. But they have lower prices for a lot of things, which is really nice. Um, PCC, Natural Mar PCC Natural Markets. I don't know as much about those guys, but they are more like Whole Foods, just not quite as big. And they really do have high, high, high quality stuff, especially produce, meat, seafood, cheese, that sort of thing. But it's also quite expensive. Um, Larry's Market's pretty similar to those uh, the P PCC and Whole Foods and their quality. Um, again, I'm a little less familiar with Larry's Market. They're over in Redmond, Washington. At least what I remember. Um, QFC is a really good just go there for your general food needs. I don't recommend their even their produce, even as highly as Whole Foods or um, PCC, but they're actually pretty good. Um, it's QFC is somewhere in between a really premium type store and what I call a regular grocery store. Um, Central Market is uh, a grocery store up in Mill Creek that has a lot of uh, great qualities. Um, they really do have high quality meat and seafood and produce just like Whole Foods. They have a very good Asian section. Um, they have, um, I, I like the way their produce is laid out. Um, just the, the look of that area, it's really, it's really nice. Um, it's very pretty. Um, but um, you can actually, as far as just being very comfortable in a grocery store, Central Market's one of the nicest grocery stores, just in terms of the way it's laid out and the way it looks and everything. And you can get, you can look at the, just like uh, Ranch 99, an Asian grocery store, you can, they have like the live uh, crab and lobster and that sort of thing. So, uh, watch your fingers. I think they... Have rubber bands around those things, but so I have gone to Central Market on occasion. Um, they're also a little expensive. You can find duck there. Yeah, <laughs> it's a little pricey. Um, so you know, occasional we'll go there. Metropolitan well, Metropolitan Market. It's a little more of a Seattle or Tacoma place. It's also pretty has some premium kinds of things. I'm not quite as familiar with that store. Uh, Wajimaya is very much one of the premier Asian grocery stores in the Seattle area and they're in Seattle and Bellevue and a few other places I think those are the main two but uh, they have every kind of Asian food you could possibly imagine hmm as far as I know I found the best passion fruit I've ever eaten has been from Wajimaya's and let's see uh, Ranch 99 is uh, Lin in Linwood they have a bunch of different grocery stores along the Pacific Coast as far as I know and they are a great place to go get roasted duck. That's probably the best thing they have, really. But you can find a lot of different kinds of fish there. In Asian grocery stores in general, uh, I believe H-Mart's like this too, um, but 
Asian grocery stores have a lot of different kinds of mushrooms, a lot of different kinds of fish, and um, just things that you wouldn't normally see sometimes, even like, you know, they have Asian pears and things. But really, my mushrooms, fish, certain kinds of vegetables, they really are great places to uh, check out in that area. Um, Hagen Foods, I'm not quite as familiar with. Uh, Safeway is really oh, just okay. Really, the reason why I think you would go to a Safeway or Albertsons has a lot to do with convenience, and it's just the closest store nearby, and they have something on sale. <sighs> now, I'm coming to Albertsons here. Now, I worked at Albertsons. I personally worked at Albertsons for over three years as a, a courtesy clerk mainly, but also a little bit as a helper clerk. Uh, this is what I wanted to say about... Now, I can talk about Albertsons in general. Yeah, they've had some um, some growing pains in the past. They, they're, I think they'll be fine overall as a company. They started out as very much a uh, very friendly neighborhood store. Idaho, I believe. Big on their deli and their fried chicken and just helping a new customer. And they've, you know, certainly changed over time um, quite a bit. But um, there is some of that old culture about the store, I would say. But, um, depending, but on where you're at. But, um, oh, so, I, like, I said, I, like I said, I worked at Albertsons for about three years. And um, my worst experience is working there really had to deal with, um, you, you might be surprised by hearing this, it was not necessarily customers, it wasn't really customers, although, yeah, maybe occasionally, it was actually just dealing with some of the um, co-workers I had to deal with, just really a few, one or two, um, you just have more contact with those folks. Customers, you're, you just, try your best to um, just get really good at just uh, having a thicker kind of skin. For the most part, you just brush off a lot of things that happened if they didn't go too poorly with, with certain customers that were unhappy. And you, that's a, something that all retail workers just try to do, you know, better or for worse. But yeah, I, you know, the things that stay with you, the things that you remember, it's generally more co-workers. And, um, Fortunately, I had a better experience at Albertsons than I had at um, another place I worked in at retail. The retail arena, different, um, they sold different things. But um, now I wanted to say also this about um, the way, though, that customers ought to treat retail workers. So, customers, I'm looking at you. Um, do not treat retail workers like they're your own personal punching bag. I'm going to repeat that. This is for all those customers out there that, that this applies to. Customers, don't treat retail workers like they are your own personal punching bag. Okay? I understand there could be all kinds of reasons why you might feel like you need to be the boxer, the, the, they're the punching bag for you. No, that's never, that's never acceptable. Never, not even remotely. Doesn't matter what they're doing. There's some things you just don't do in polite society. In, there are some things that are just never right, ne never, never justifiable. Um, no matter what the company says, no matter what the company does to that retail worker, if they do anything, um, no, it's not if a retail worker is doing their best to help you, okay, if they are really trying to help you, there is absolutely no reason I can think of why you would treat them poorly. I, I hate to hate I hate to say this, but there might be maybe some people watching this video at some point that think they're justified in treating a retail worker poorly because that retail worker is having a hard time finding something that they want. Don't do it. If you have done it in the past, 
then make a new renewed dedication to not do that anymore. There are people just like you. Just finishing off this list here, uh, Fred Meyer is a place that I only go to now for certain reasons. Their produce isn't very high quality. I mentioned Safeway and Albertsons just now. They're the middle of the road. Fred Meyer's produce is starting to their fruit quality, in my experience, and I, I really wouldn't know so much recently, but they don't have especially high quality uh, produce or meat. Um, their bulk foods are fine. Their prices are very reasonable. Um, but I just wouldn't go there for a lot of grocery shopping. I would go there for other reasons. Uh, I don't really go to Costco. I don't really believe in going to a grocery store or a, I would say a larger warehouse type of store like Sam's Club or any place that involves a being a member of a club and you have to pay a certain monthly rate just to, I don't believe in any of that stuff. So I, I don't shop at any store really that is like that. Um, now I mentioned two more stores before we're done here. Walmart is not an option. It should not be an option for anyone unless they want to buy a very cheap, something very cheap that's electronics or something for their house. It's unless you're buying junk food, it's just they have they have a long ways to go. A long ways to go before they're even in the same might be considered in the same sentence as even Albertsons or Safeway. They they just are. Walmart is atrocious. Bad. Not a good idea unless you know that's you know, you really just are looking for the deal. The cheapest stuff that you but the, the, qual the quality of their stuff is terrible. I mean, for food. Any, they don't get anything fresh there. Uh, maybe bananas. But why, why would you want to buy bananas there? Anyway, Grocery Outlet is probably... It's the place that you want to go to, of course, if you're really hurting financially. And there's a lot of people that might be in that situation. But um, Grocery Outlet, it's bottom of the rung. So, uh, also, the last thing about this train of thought is that, of course, farmer's markets are the place to go in the summer for produce, period. You might be able to, you might go to stores to get some other things that farmer's markets don't have, but you want to go to farmer's markets to buy berries and cherries. Absolutely. If you, uh, <laughs> there's just, there's just, in Pike Place Market, absolutely, in Seattle. But you need to go to farmer's markets. If you haven't gone, go to a farmer's market in the summer. Well, um, that's about it for this subject. Um, leave me your comments or thoughts if you have any. I'm sure you do. Um, I would be curious about anyone's retail work experiences. Um, any employer that's a retail, that's in retail, uh, should definitely understand that um, there's a extremely so uh, you have every kind of person on the face of the earth almost who will be working in retail and so um, those managers and those folks that actually do a I would say a good job of really knowing where someone would be a good fit in a store and where they have a good level head about them. No matter what happens to whatever workers come onto their store, no matter who they hire or fire, um, they, um, they should understand that all retail workers, well, they're all, we're all, they're all, we're all human, so we all deserve to be treated with respect. But me, most of these folks, a lot of these folks, are not going to be career retail workers. But don't treat them any poor, more. Don't treat them more poorly because of that. They're going to, at some point in time, you, you just never know what's going to happen. And I'm not. It might be just something where they just tell everyone they know. 
I don't go to the store. And then if those folks tell those folks. And, but even if that never happens, um, you're very shy courtesy clerk. If they've had a bad enough experience retail, um, well, let's just say that that really shy retail worker decides to commit suicide because of work. It could happen. So don't be the manager that is not aware of that situation. If they need to find another job, they need to find another job. But you, you need to uh, you need to realize people are people and don't forget that. No matter what your boss is saying. No matter no matter. Alright, again leave me your thoughts in the comments below and I will see you guys later.